All right, what's up YouTube? Got my Scorch X here, I'm outfitting. I wanted to show you a little seat hack that Johnny Ortiz showed me that made a huge difference in the medium when I paddled, and it probably will do the same for the Scorch X. So sometimes, as you can see, the, the Prana seats are made, they're kind of slanted downwards like this. And for me at least, when I sit in them, I feel like I'm having to bend forward the whole time. And even if I put like four or five shims in it, it feels like the same way. So a cool thing that Ortiz showed me, and it's very simple, I don't know why I never thought of it, but basically you just take two pads, or you can use the pads they give you, or different pads or whatever, and you just fold them like so. And then, just shove them in the back here, like that. So for me, on the medium, I have one like pad flat, so I'll put one of these in there like that. And then I put the two pads folded over just like this. So as you can see, even just my hand right there, it kind of flattens the seat out for you. So when you're paddling, you maintain a good position. I'm gonna show you here. And I'm outfitting it, and that actually feels pretty good. I'll probably do put one or two shims in this. This sits way low compared to the medium. But yeah, I got hookers in here too. But anyway, what I was talking about is, so if you don't have these pads and they're like that, you your whole time you feel like you're having to lean forward, which creates a weird paddling position and also puts a lot of pressure on your ab muscles and obliques and stuff. So these pads, you really don't have to do anything. It's just a natural seat position. So it's much easier to control the boat and not get worn out. So, again, awesome little hack there that Johnny showed me, and I never really even thought of it before, but yeah. So just fold those over, stick them under the seat like that, and there you go. All right, here's another little hack I do. Not necessarily a hack, but something you should do when you get a piranha boat. They still don't really do this drain plug very well. As you can see, there's still missing spots where there's no sealant or goop or whatever you wanna call it. So, you just unscrew these two screws right here. I already took out the other one. Should come up pretty easy. You just take the drain plug out. See, as you can see, there's just not a lot of sealing on there. So I use this stuff right here, if I can find it. Sorry for the mess in my garage. I use um, plumbing goop, works really good. Get it at Lowe's Home Depot for, I don't know, like three to five dollars or something like that. And I'll just put it on here, around here. Put the drain plug back in, of course, peel all this old stuff off. It just comes right off. Like I said, it's not very good. So this is something you should always do when you get a new piranha boat or use one if they haven't done it. Also another thing, just make sure you check all the bolts on your boats. They've gotten better recently, all the piranha boats, but they used to be somewhat loose when you got them. But yeah, on both of these boats that I got new, but most bolts were pretty tight, so that's a good thing. But yeah, these drain plugs are still pretty weak here. So, yeah, I didn't even really have to do anything. Just use my fingers and take that off. This stuff's pretty sticky, so. And don't worry about, like, getting it on the boat or whatever. You can easily just peel it off. Anyway. A little bit more right there. There you go. Put a religious mount on there. You can always wipe it off. Anyway, try to get this down in there without getting a ton of it on there. All right, then just line up your holes here. Press it down. There you go. That is definitely not going to leak. Once that dries. Yeah, and it looks like it's in the screw holes, but it's all right. Like I said, you can just wipe around the edges here. You just want to fill in the 
There's like a divot there. You just want to fill in all the divot so no water can kind of go over and under. So even it's in the screw hole, that's all right. It will screw in still. And it's not like Loctite, so even if you have to take this off at some point, not a big deal. As you can see, once I screw it in, super tight. All the goop is sealed all around that whole gap there. So, you might want to touch it up just a tad here in the corner. Like I said, I'd rather have too much goop. You can always take it off when it dries. There you go, Prana drain plug fixed. Five dollars, this bottle will last you 70 boats probably.